there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Now I have a wine today that is called Parts and Labour. 2016, a red wine from California. So it's rather cagey as to uh, what it is, what is in it. It's just a producer, folk machine. The folk machine, you ask yourself. Uh, as for what the blend is, it doesn't give you any, any clues. Do a little bit of searching and you'll find out that it's made from uh, uh, the sorts of uh, grapes that have been grown traditionally in, uh, in California. Um, in a, so there's a little bit of po- a pocket of, uh, I think there's some Syrah here, there's some Carignan there, uh, I think there's some Grenache there, I think it's got a little bit of Barbera in, but they're not all from the same, same part, of the, uh, part of the state, hence the California red wine. The other thing you notice about it is um, when you think of uh, all those grapes, you think of them as making sort of rather full throaty red wines that uh, have quite a bit of poke to them. This one, 12.5% alcohol, or to be more precise, 12.7%. Let's give it a whirl. There's something here that really reminds me of black currant fruit gums. I can't remember the last time I had a fruit uh, fruit gum as opposed to fruit pastel. I can't remember the last time I had one, but uh, there is that sort of character to it. There's a slight spice. Um, there is this red fruit, black fruit, um, bit of both, but then that slight confection to them. Can't say I get. Um, it, it, it smells like it's going to be on that refreshing side. The 12.7 percent alcohol would lead to believe that. Um, it smells rather youthful and dangerously gluggable. So I'm going to have a dangerous slurp rather than a dangerous glug. Really interesting wine. It's got, um, I don't want to dissect it and say, oh, there's that bit giving that. But there is something there giving a backbone of freshness. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the, the Carignan uh, that's providing that. And also that little bit of black currant um, confection that I was, I was getting. I always think of black of uh, Carignan. Uh, if it's not picked too uh, too late, giving that uh, that's driving spine. Then you've got these other f- uh, flavours around it, a little bit of floral character, um, and these dark fruit rather than uh, the red red berry that I was smelling. Um, it's good. It's not great. I don't think it's a, a, a very ambitious price, but it's the sort of wine that you think California really should be doing more of this because um, uh, you, we we don't see enough of those wines that are um, it, at one end there's, a, there's the rather uh, rather sweet and boring cheapies. At the top end there's some terrific stuff, but they've got prices to match. Um, and this I think sits at a nice uh, halfway point between those. And um, we want more wines like this, please, California. So. Uh, Bully for you, whoever made this, and uh, I'm going to finish this little bit without spitting it out. See you soon.